Hi everybody, this is Vitorials and today we are going to create this vector infographic in Adobe Illustrator and uh, in this uh, tutorial you will learn how to use uh, 3D object inside Adobe Illustrator and how to map symbols right way and as always you can create this clean sharp looking infographics that helps you to present your data no matter whether you using this infographic uh, in your business presentation or for educational purposes at your school. So let's start our tutorial and as always go to file, new, create a new document and I'm gonna size this document to the 19, 20 and 10, 80 and choose the units as pixels. So click create and first of all I want to turn off align to pixel grid and increase the row size of my layers so everybody can see them easily. Next I'm gonna grab the colors of my infographic and paste it in my new artboard here and lock on this layer. So in my new layer I'm gonna grab ellipse tool or click add, create a circle so hit once on your artboard and here I'm gonna size my ellipse with 640 pixels width and height make sure that your link between width and height and click OK so we have our ellipse and I want to align it to the artboard and both vertically and horizontally to the center and then I want to set the fill stroke to any color you want so we have our circle and we need to create a duplicate by simply holding alt or option key and dragging to the side. So we have uh, our original file and uh, we, we are primarily working with this file now. Uh, go to scale tool, double click on it and in open dialog box set the uniform value to 85% and uh, click copy. I'm gonna immediately recall it so we can easily see all of our circles that we are going to create next I'm gonna size uh, double click on the scale tool and in open dialog box I'm gonna set uniform 83% and as you can see I'm I'm working with a smaller copy of our circle and click copy and I'm gonna give this uh, green yellow color. Uh, next I'm gonna double click to open the dialog box and here I want to set uniform 80% uh, percent and click copy to create another copy and set it to orange. Last copy I'm gonna create with a value of uniform 75%. So 75% click copy and give it this yellow color. So we have our target shape, uh, we have five uh, circles uh, sitting upon each other and I want to uh, align both of them to the selection both horizontally and vertically and group them. And next step I'm gonna visit my symbol panel. If you can find your symbol panel go to the windows symbols and I am gonna grab this target shape and drag it to the symbol panel until my cursor is uh, changed to, to this arrow with plus sign. So in open dialog box I am gonna set the name to the new symbol as a right and I am gonna set the export type to the graphic and click OK to create a new symbol and we can delete this guy. Let's work with our duplicate and first of all I want to change the option align to board and align it both horizontally and vertically then I wanna the, the, the center of our circle I'm gonna give this line a stroke. I think probably a black stroke could be right. The one point is also okay and I'm gonna align this uh, line horizontally to the center of our board 
and then I'm gonna create a horizontal line and align it to the vertical center of our artboard. So we have this line is crossing each other and it divides our circle into four equal paths. And I'm gonna grab my shape builder tool and select this part, this uh, bottom right uh, quarter of our circle and delete all another elements and select my quarter and give it this orange color. Now that we have our symbol and our quarter and we are almost ready to 3D rendering but uh, I want to create a copy of this quarter and throw it like that. Hold Alt or Option key to make this transformation. So we have our quarter, first original file and I want to go to the effect 3D and revolve. And here I want, uh, I have a lot of uh, parameters and first of all I want to check preview and I want offset zero points from left edge, not right edge, because right edge creates a cylinder, we don't need a cylinder, we need a left edge transformation. We also don't need a plastic shading, but we can adjust it uh, after we mapping our art. So, we have our XYZ axis. I want change some of the values of this axis. So, first is our top X axis, uh, X, uh, axis and I want to set negative 85% here. Then I want to set in my Y axis negative 40 percent and leave my Z axis uh, as a default. Uh, then go click on this button map art to map art actually and uh, we have this dialog box. In this dialog box we need to change our surface here by clicking on this button next surface and we are working currently with this uh, surface as you can see and we're gonna uh, select from the drop down menu our new symbol. I'm gonna just click and we have our symbol very uh, nicely uh, mapping on our 3D shape and I want to click this uh, button scale to fit just to make sure that all is fitting one another. Click OK. To, can, uh, to apply this transformation and then I'm gonna change my surface from plastic shading to no shading at all. So it creates this kind of uh, solid flat shape in Adobe Illustrator. Click OK to apply our final transformation and then I want to grab this uh, duplicate of our quarter and go to the effect and here I want to go to the second option from top revolve map is already mapped as you can see and uh, we have already a left edge and we need to change only a x y z axis and here I want to change the x y, uh, y axis to 70 negative 78 percent and increase my Z axis value to 98% and check preview and we have this uh, shape now so click OK the last thing that I gonna do I want to select all of them and go to the object path uh, I'm sorry expand appearance go to the object and expand appearance to expand appearance of these two shapes and now we need to ungroup so simply select right now button click on groups and select ungroup then select again and release clip and mask and then um, select again and then group until you can select all these circles one by one so I can select all of them, that, that means that I ungroup all uh, shapes. Then I want to go to my last path 
and delete this clipping path. The I don't need that clipping path as well as I don't need this shape. This shape on the bottom you can select uh, clicking select and then click backspace to delete get rid of that. So we uh, we clean up our shape and next we need to do the uh, the same with this shape. So ungroup, ungroup it again, ungroup it again it uh, then uh, release clipping mask and then ungroup again to assess every circle individually and delete this clipping path shape and delete this large group as well. I want to color just to better see what I'm going to do. I wanna give it this gray color and then I wanna select all passes of this hemisphere and move it like so. So keep this horizontally sitting uh, hemisphere selected and uh, Ctrl Y or Command Y to enter the outline mode. And now we need to drag this uh, hemisphere to make sure that all of these passes uh, are perfectly fit each other. I think they are and I want to Ctrl Y Command Y to leave the outline mode. Now I want to select this roof of this first region of the hemisphere and Ctrl Shift right bracket or Command Shift right bracket move it to the top. As you can see it's now on top and then I want to Ctrl Y Command Y again to enter the outline mode and as you can see we have a two points of interest, two points of intersection. First of all is our far most point here and our closest point here and I want to grab my line segment tool make sure that your uh, smart device is turned on Control U command command U to and turn off and on uh, your smart device then as you can see we have uh, here our intersect and draw a line You can draw a line far away for our intersection, but just make sure that you cross this intersection almost perfectly. So I think I need to adjust it a little bit here. Okay. Yes. Go far beyond this intersection, and here we can do that as well. So we can go. Let me scale a little bit more. We can go far away and maybe even adjusting this using our arrow key. So we are perfectly uh, create our line and now I want to select that line and give it a stroke. So I want to black one point stroke. Very default stroke here. And I want to leave the outline mode using Ctrl Y, Command Y. So we have our line and I need to select this line and then I want to select this circle, this, this, this and this circle of my horizontal hemisphere and then I want also want to select this circle. This is a large shape that uh, for some of the reason Illustrator uh, created automatically when created this 3D shape. And then we need to grab our shape builder tool. So go to the shape builder tool and select all of these uh, parts of this circle. Like so. We selected one, two, three, four, five, five pieces, and we need to delete all another stuff we have here. I want to delete this, 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 and this, and uh, delete all the pieces of this path. Now I want to recolor it by sampling the color from my original uh, hemisphere. I want to select here. I want to select this green yellow. Now I want to select this uh, greenish color and I want to select this dark blue. 
So we selected all of them and also I want to select this roof and this uh, roof of our hemispheres and just uh, go to maybe go to Pathfinder and unite all of our shapes here like so and we uh, but uh, before we created our gradient we need to select all of these uh, paths again and clicking on this small teeny icon recolor artwork tool I want to go to the edit and uh, select uh, this link how many colors and here I want to decrease our brightness on 10% around 87 is ok and um, here I want to increase the saturation around 4 on, or even 5% so we have our 89% uh, saturation and we have this nice shading here so a last step we need to as you can see we have this form and I want to I want to make a tiny adjustment by reducing the number of our anchor simplifying our path so go to the object path simplify and here I want to set the simplification to 95% uh, reduce the number of points as you can see even simplifying on to 95% it's reduced uh, almost 36 points from the shapes and uh, next I want to grab my gradient and set a few gradient to this okay i want to change my default gradient first of all i want to double click on the white stop color and here i want to change to five percent gray and here i want to change to 30 percent gray my black stop color by double clicking and dragging the slider in opened menu then i want to change the gradient from the uh, liner to gradient and uh, in radiant gradient I want to drag this slider here to the center and I want to create another slider another gray value here so we have something like that it looks actually good but uh, we can change the direction of our gradient of course by grabbing our gradient tool or click G and uh, change the direction of our gradient maybe to make this part of our more bright and this uh, is less bright more dark so this is uh, almost the end of our tutorial the last last step of our tutorial is create these pointers these uh, legend uh, points for example if you have uh, the infographic you need to have a legend and uh, to create this is very um, very simple process first of all you need to make sure that you have a line of gradient then i want to get rid of this left stop color and uh, choose and uh, use only white color here and uh, double click on this 30 percent gray stop color and change it to 17 percent now i want to grab my uh, gradient tool and change the direction of uh, gradient to from top left to bottom right then i want to make a smaller duplicate for doing this go to object path and offset path and here i want to offset on negative uh, three pixels and check preview to see what i'm going to achieve and click ok then i want to reverse my gradient clicking on this small icons here on my gradient uh, on my gradient panel then i want to select this uh, smallest uh, circle and ctrl c ctrl f to make a duplicate and then i want to scale this duplicate holding alt and shift key then i want to grab my airdropper tool select this color so we have our point we have our 3d infographic and if you like this tutorial please don't hesitate to thumb up subscribe share it with your friends i will come back to you very soon thank you for following to the end i wish you a nice day